Hey everyone, this is Chris and Roger from Tigers SRD, and what we're going to do today is the first in what we hope is a series of videos, kind of breaking down the game a little bit more for you. And our first video is going to be about Spencer Turnbull. We're going to go back to August 9th, 2020 start against the Pirates, when Turnbull actually pulled out the win. He pitched really well, seven innings of one-run ball. But what we want to talk about and focus on in this video is how an umpire, even when he's calling balls and strikes well, can have an effect on at bats in the game in general. You're going to start to see a series of pitches here where Turnbull is pounding the bottom of the zone. We took all those out because the home plate umpire in this game, Bill Welke, Michigan's own Bill Welke, is known as not giving the low strike to pitchers. I think the Pirates knew this. I mean, Kirk Gibson mentioned it before the broadcast, so we assume the Pirates knew it and the Tigers knew it. And I, I want to give the Pirates credit for seemingly taking approach into the game almost like Turnbull's a, a knuckleballer. You know, if it's low, let it go. If it's high, let it fly. They're, they're not swinging at anything low. And some of these are very clearly balls, but a lot of them are really borderline pitches and close, and they're just not offering at all. And what I want to show you a little bit later, though, is Turnbull actually does get a couple strikes low in the zone, and how that changes the at-bat. We've seen all these players lay, lay off the ball low in the zone, and you're going to see at the end, a couple hitters really go for it because they have to protect against that low strike now. So here's Josh Bell, and that, that one, that's it, you know, a sinker low in the zone, looked like a good pitch, he laid off it, just no problem. There's another pitch low in the zone. That one probably a little bit easier to lay off. Here we have, what is this, Adam Frazier? No, nope. JT Riddle. Another pitch low in the zone. Again, these, not, not all of them are perfect pitches to, to lay off. And that, one, that one's obviously a waste pitch. Not a waste pitch, but it was a waste of a pitch. But here we go. Here, here's a, you know, how do you lay off that pitch? That is sinking low and away, and I guess he just realized he couldn't do anything with it. And what about this pitch? This is a nasty slider. I mean, maybe not nasty, but that's a pretty good slider perfect location and he just lays off it but here we go with josh bell look so he gets the low strike and that one is clearly a strike and turnbull executed his pitch there we get another sinker low and away he lays off that because i think he knows he can't hit can't hit it but here we go breaking ball low and inside he he knows the low strike is in play swings and misses that's one of turnbull's only four strikeouts and here we go with the, the best example brian reynolds really close pitch right there hasn't been called a strike all day gets called a strike there i i don't know if it was because he swung but next pitch Breaking ball low and in, he swings at it and gets the strikeout. And that's late in the game. And I want to show you a pitch earlier in the game. You saw it earlier. Almost identical. Breaking ball low and in to Brian Reynolds. Lays off. Almost identical spot. Here it is one more time. Down and in. Flinches a little bit, but doesn't have an issue. And here's the one that he swung at. Almost identical, but he goes for it. And that's because Welke gave Turnbull that strike at the bottom of the zone. And here's, uh, we'll, we'll finish up just by showing you the location of those two pitches. I mean, they're not right on top of each other, but pretty darn close. And that's our first breakdown. You know, nothing groundbreaking here. We're just like, taking a closer look at some stuff that we thought was interesting. And we are happy to do this for anything that you find interesting. So feel free to contact Roger at Rogcast81 on Twitter or me at ChrisBrown0914 on Twitter. And just let us know uh, if there's something else you want us to uh, dig into. Thanks.